We're going to have a fun little adventure today. We are, we, and I don't have a mouse in my pocket, me, the Relic Man Matt, who's right there, are on a kayaking trip. In fact, right now we are at the confluence of a river there and a river there. Got a couple spots down here where there's a lot of troop activity. There's some fighting, had a lot of crossing this river. And in the past, I've been in this area and done really, really well. But it is a place that's hunted, so who knows? Everything might be gone now. So I'm going to have a little discussion with Mr. Matt, and we're going to decide whether or not we want to uh, start here or go down just a little bit further to where I have actually found stuff. I've never really detected out here. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't know where to start, really. We're working our way down through these rocks and stuff. Not having a lot of luck. Uh, it's really hard to walk, and there's probably not going to be anything up here except in an occasional artillery show, which is pretty, pretty awesome if we found one. I want to show you something that kind of made my little heart go pitter-pat for just a minute. I was walking along. Uh, I'm not metal detecting right now. Just looking, and I saw this. I saw this piece of wood, and with that little stick in there, I thought it was... It really looked like it was maybe part of a musket stock and that was a ramrod because that was just like laying on the bottom just like that and i'm like wow i got part of a musket but somehow that little stick just got rolled in there just as pretty as can be <laughs> isn't that weird well i have my first relic of the day looks like maybe an ancient indian pipe like a peace pipe or something check it out isn't that awesome i can just imagine them sitting around the campfire at night Smoking a little tobacco, like a colonial peace pipe. Most excellent. I think there's, look, I think there's some tobacco in there. Might be wacky though. <laughs> Looks like an artillery shell, doesn't it? And uh, I was very happy to see that until I flipped it over. <laughs> look at that. There is a uh, pipe clamp on there that actually I might be able to use, but I probably won't. Got a pipe clamp on it, so I don't think it's too old. Yeah. Hey, I got some other treasure in my boat. You gotta check it out, man. I think it's a peace pipe, Indian peace pipe from like back in the day. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> this is the of the uh, Powhatan style. Yeah, there you of, go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they were here. The uh, Indians that lived here. <laughs> I knew if I hashed it out with them, we'd figure it out. Yeah. I got a nice signal here. It was kind of ironing. I hit it with a magnet. I pulled it up a little bit, but then it fell off because I don't have a really good magnet on this. I thought we'd look at it together. Oh boy, oh boy. That's a giant, uh, well, hmm. Part of one of the dams probably on the river. There's a lot of, there were a lot of dams on this river back in the day. Big spikes and things like that. A couple neat things here. Um, we are at a, uh, Matt actually uh, saw this first, but this is a fish weir going across the river or a fish trap or fish pot the indians would build these and they'd put an opening down there with baskets and then it'd get upstream and then like bang the water the whole tribe would be out there it could be you know 20 50 100 people scaring all the fish down river from like up in those areas and they would come down and go right into a v into a trap and they could go out there and just pick them up or i guess spear them or whatever they wanted to do Another thing I wanted to show you though, uh, you guys that have been around for a while already know what I'm going to say, but for you new guys, this is kind of an interesting phenomenon. If you look here, it's like a big pile of gravel. That's actually a fish nest. Fall fish, which are a type of freshwater fish, pick up little stones and they make these pyramidal shapes in the river. Someone probably went through that with a kayak or something, because usually it's a pyramid. Uh, to attract the females, I guess they lay their eggs in there and fertilize them. Uh, but you see these all over the rivers, freshwater rivers around here. You can see another one right there. Uh, so obviously he built that not too long ago because a flood would have pushed that away pretty quick. So that's fairly fresh. If you look along here, the water's nice and clear, but it's really cloudy there. And it goes up into there and it's cloudy. He's actually cleared up a lot since I uh, stopped. But what that tells me in conjunction with the sticks that have been chewed on by beavers is that's a beaver den up in there so on these kind of rivers they don't build like the big mounds they actually tunnel up into the banks so he's tunneled up in there underneath those trees not like sand pile and uh, he's hanging out we probably scared him and he came up and went in there and he's hiding right now 
which is a good sign because we know he doesn't have rabies if he's actually hiding from us. But we'll keep moving on. This is the time of year when they have their babies too. And they can be a little bit aggressive if you go over and mess around the den if they have babies up in there. I've had them like chattering at me and making noises and stuff. So we'll let them be. We'll find some relics. You see it's a river it's pretty wide here. Some beautiful sandbars. A lot of people camp down here, uh, you know, on the kayak trips and canoe trips. So there's tons of cans, but looks pretty interesting. It's definitely looked different than the last time I was here. So Matt just hollered at me. He said, uh, I guess he found something, hopefully something Civil War. And at the same time, I just dug this beautiful spike. I think this is the area where there was a pontoon bridge at one time. So, uh, you know, I find a lot of relics in this general area in the past. Yeah, it's, chill, it's chilly. <laughs> I'm getting, I think getting a sun, it won't be so bad. Well, you're in the sun. So you got a button. Yeah. Oh, boy, that's not a beauty. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah. That's an old one, too, isn't it? Yeah. With the uh, shank on it. The heck. Ah, that's a beauty, man. <laughs> Most awesome, dude. Congratulations. Thank you very so much. So you're on the board. I am. The, the expedition is on the board. That's right. That's the important thing. That's right. I'll, I'll get on there, too, myself. Just gonna give me a little bit. Just about five, six more hours. Found this cool little item. Um, it's not Civil War or anything, but it's a piece of wood with uh, two fired modern bullets in it. I just thought that was kind of neat. They probably had a target up against a tree and were blasting away at it with uh, with some rifle or pistol. Huh. So now I can relax and take it easy all day. I got a relic. What we have here is a. Uh, 69 caliber musket ball round ball and it's dropped so that's a beauty right there i might just go over there in that sandbar and take a nap now my day is complete that's like looking down he's shaking his head i don't blame him <laughs> an oddity oh. i think that's off a uh, coleman lantern oh okay yeah pretty sure yeah. i'll keep it if you want it i shouldn't pick on him uh, that's really cool. That is what we call a tompion. Oh, that's what that is. End of the musket. Yeah, uh -huh. you know what it is. Uh -huh. The cork's missing. Oh, okay. cork right there. That's a beautiful find, man. That's the most awesome, dude. <laughs> Thank you. So I moved it Look on your spot. Sorry. Oh, no, no. That's, that's the, the rules of the river. If you get a spot, you share it. Uh, because it's just, you know, there's not that many spots. That way you don't fight over it, you know? Yeah. So just jump right in there. Yeah absolutely move in oh that's sweet that's a can i see it yeah. one time yeah you can actually see a little bit of cork still up in there yeah that goes in the uh tompion, which goes in the end of a musket to uh, keep out the dirt and grime and water <laughs> first one i've ever found really oh most excellent it's a great shape too i think i'm as happy as he is that's really cool gives us hope right was it a good signal um it was at first, and then when I moved it, it kind of wasn't. But, yeah. You know, I fanned it and it moved, but I'm glad I didn't. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. Half the time I leave those, but yeah. yeah, like that musket ball wasn't that great either. And I got another signal that's not that great, but maybe it is. Gold coin. Yeah. I do have a nice little squeaker in this hole. Uh, I already got one target out of it, it was a nail, but I just ran the machine over it again. It's definitely squeaking. I'll try to get you a little bit of underwater action today. I probably not a whole lot, but since we can actually see now, let's go ahead and uh, see what we have. Hold your breath. That's a cool little find. This is actually, um, that's a Civil War bullet that's been carved. It's got a big uh, knife or 
sword marking right there and one right there too so i don't know if they're trying to make a, a fishy out of it I actually find a lot like that they look like little fish usually they poke an eyeball in it though i don't actually see that but that's a nice uh look, camp art right there done by a civil war soldier so we just found this carved bullet right there that i was talking to you about and matt just found a carved bullet too a little musket ball cut in half <laughs> yeah that's pretty cool isn't it awesome so the soldier's right Sitting right here, goofing off. So what you got there? A miniature Civil War ice cream cone right here. <laughs> There's That's a awesome. Burns, complete Burnside carbine cartridge. That is cool, man. Yeah, so see the powder kind of leaching out of it. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. And be careful with that one. You don't want yeah. it exploding in your boat <laughs> or falling apart. <laughs> Most awesome. All right, so I have been digging this target for like, three hours at least it feels that way see this giant hole down there that i've dug you wouldn't believe what i found a little tiny piece of uh no oh, it's like buckshot except it's too small for like buck and ball i guess it just must have been sifting down through the the gravel as i was digging it because uh, it was originally on the surface pretty much <laughs> it's pretty sad well, I'm down there looking at uh, Matt's kayak in the sun, <laughs> thinking I mean, that's a good thought spot for it down in the sun. I'm freezing, man. <laughs> you are too, though. Oh, I'm freezing. <laughs> um, I found a um, Burnside casing earlier. I haven't showed you that yet. Matt, of course, found one with a bullet. It's still in it. So this is kind of neat. Kind of looks like an umbrella tip. But if you look in the bottom, see that little hole right there? That's how it would fire. That was actually, you would use a percussion cap, separate percussion cap on the carbine. And the, when the hammer hit the percussion cap, it would explode and the flame would go into that hole and set that off. So that's actually a, uh, I call it a dispenser, but that's actually probably a burn side. So that would have gone to this. It might even be a pair, who knows? that would have been stuck in the end of that and uh, stuck in the end just like that also got one other thing i think i found since we last talked bag. i don't want to crush mat a uh oh we've got a 22 casing a pull tab and a mini ball got the black on it that's gunpowder so that was thrown away with the powder attached. Most excellent. I think we have a bullet down there that I just dug up. Looks like it from here. Why don't you take a peek for me? have here is an Enfield bullet. That's a Confederate, probably, Confederate Enfield. No rings. Most awesome. And you got something good too, huh? Yeah, they have a uh, ramble made into a sinker. Oh, neat. Got a hole. You wonder how they put that hole in there. I mean, you know, I don't <laughs> think I could do that yeah. myself, yeah. you know. Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. Neat. It's awesome. We each got a bullet. It's pretty much the same time. Excellent. Yeah. I want to see something really scary. So we kind of moved out of that area and uh, getting into another spot, digging a lot of modern sinkers, but I did just dig a, uh, looked like a carved mini ball right here. So hopefully there'll be a few more around. Unfortunately, we're working down river. So we're gonna be chasing our silt the whole way, but <laughs> at least that's another nice little bullet. Put it with the other ones. There you go. So I just dug a little sharps bullet. And Matt thinks he has a shell, well, an artillery shell. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet and let him do his thing and we're gonna watch him. Ready? Here we go. Oh no. Dude! <laughs> it's a cannon! Yeah, it's like an eight foot long tube, man. <laughs> that's awesome. But I can see where you would thought it'd be a shell because that's what they sound like. It's just a... Oh. Uh, what is that? <laughs> is that wood on it? Yeah. That's bizarre. 
sucks. Hey, you should take it home with you, man. Yeah. Easy to carry them around. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I made out like a bandit then. I got a bullet. There you go. <laughs> well, this might be a little sweetie right here. That looks like a little silver coin, doesn't it? Let's give it a bath. <laughs> I think that is a little silver coin of some sort. Probably a little Spanish silver. Wow. Um, shoot, I can't really make it out. Can you? I think I have to take my uh, glove off and get this finger here. Yeah, that's a little silver. Yeah, sure, there. Okay, so that's a, a little Spanish real. You can see the outline right there um we'll definitely get a date off of that in here in a bit there's the back oh so <laughs> that's actually that's in really good shape actually i'll definitely get a date off of that it'll be 17 something most awesome let's put it in here hopefully we won't lose it there you go i think matt took off downstream um We'll hang around here just a few more minutes. So I just dug a nice Williams cleaner bullet. Uh, that's a uh, that's the type of bullet that you would uh, the soldiers were issued. I think four per forty. And uh, when you fired this, supposedly there's a well there was a zinc disc on the end of it here that's actually rotted away. And when you fired it, it would flatten out the zinc disc and help clean the musket barrel or the you know the rifle barrel, clean all the uh, all the fouling out of it and uh soldiers didn't like these very much you find them pitched away quite often but you know that's a nice little example we'll take it get with the rest i also found this thing which i thought was very odd i'm not sure what it is it's like it's an iron doodad but i don't know this thing's really shiny it was in an area where there's some more modern stuff looks like a farmer maybe had pitched some stuff over the bank you know 50 60 years ago the reason i got my camera out was because this big snake was coming toward me up along the bank here but he went under so i don't know where he is now so hopefully he won't uh show up around my legs here in just a minute that hole right there is a muskrat hole probably an old one <gasps> look at him he's cute isn't he it's probably a little northern water snake there he goes <laughs> scaring him down toward matt <laughs> <laughs> that's cruel isn't it so this is kind of a neat find i do believe this is the tip to a sword uh, could be like some type of weird big knife but i'm pretty sure that's going to be a sword saber from the american civil war <laughs> let's see if we can find the rest of it that's pretty neat so we're still going along looking for artillery shells and still looking for bullets and stuff not having any luck with either one but the only iron i've dug uh is this which I believe is a window weight. It casts iron window weight. The end's broken off. That would have had the little loop in it to tie the rope to. And what these would do, these acted as counterweights to big windows in the old style houses. But they were really hard to like open and close because they were big. So these would be in the walls on ropes and they'd be like little pulleys. So it would make it a lot easier to go up and down because it was just the counterweight it made it like a feather going up and down well i suppose this is my best find in the last uh two hours <laughs> pretty peak it huh and we're getting to a stretch of the river i just don't know if what well, if anything we're going to find down through here and uh unfortunately we've got a long way to go to get to the boat ramp so we're gonna to have to pick up our step here soon probably actually get in the boat and start paddling <laughs> Ah, beautiful day though. Well, here comes Matt. We are back at the boat ramp. Um, sorry I didn't get any more video for you. Uh, we kind of uh, detected along for a ways and I didn't find much. I think Matt got one, uh, one round ball and um, then we've been paddling for like the last hour and a half. So trying to get back before dark and we made it. I'm not gonna do a roundup, but I'll get you some pictures. Uh, we have, uh, yeah, I have to go pick up my truck. You know get everything loaded go get my truck and drive two and a half hours home so it's gonna be a late night <laughs> i'm tired hope you enjoyed the little adventure we'll see you on the next one
Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep. Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby, and I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets, she's promised.